down, I'm on Route 21, it's moving really, really slowly, so it's not even like I'm driving. Don't, don't worry about that. I can tell you though, a lot of things are moving. Some of them are moving in the right direction. There have been some really, really good Supreme Court opinions in the last uh, week, last couple of days, in fact. Uh, people have shown us who they are and who they're not on that court. And uh, there's a little bit of hope for the Constitution. Now, one thing that's moving in the wrong direction is the way conservatives are treating each other, Republicans are treating each other on the internet. It's inexcusable personal attacks, the, the doxing or the betrayal of trust, the finger pointing, the hypocrisy, and the mercenary nature of much of what's going on. You're being paid, you're being rewarded to attack other conservatives, really? Or, or you, you think it's something you need to do to prove your loyalty to MAGA? It's bad for your soul. It's bad for your psychological health to be in the business of attacking other people, especially as a way of getting ahead, as a way of advancing your career, whether it's to earn money so that you become a more favored member of some political in-group or whatever the case may be. It's a terrible way to live. There are things we have to say. There are people in the political and public realms whom it is appropriate to attack. I'm not saying it's never the case. I've certainly done plenty of it myself. But using party rivalry as a rationale for sharpening your technique on attacking other people and attacking them not based on their policy or their work, but on personal grounds, on character grounds, it's ugly. How early in your life do you want to be known as an ugly person? How early in your life and your career do you want to become an ugly person? Stop it. It's not a way to live.